Hi, and welcome back to this lesson on Fuse 4. We're continuing on lesson one of the medical diagnosis bot. We're inside Fuse at the moment, and we're going to uh, we're going to copy our lesson one part part two and modify it. So I'm hitting the X button, making a copy of it. We're going to call this part three. All right, let's open it up. We'll just modify our comments. That is the first of August. Okay, so we've been using inputs for everything at the, um, at the moment, and I've been looking at since this is on a Nintendo Switch, why we're not using the command buttons on the, the controllers. So we're going to do some modification to this program and uh, so is that it's, it's a bit cleaner. Um, all right, so first thing we want to do is let's comment the uh, main function. Okay. Now, let's change the main menu to a variable. Let's call it welcome. So we can call that any time. It's a global variable. We also want to change the menu to show rather than press 1, we want to press A bring up the list we want to press X on our controller to bring up to make a new diagnosis and for Q for quit we might go B okay so now we've made that a variable we don't need to put the weight in anymore and we actually don't need to have an input at, uh, at this point because we're going to run uh, the welcome inside the main loop so we're going to comment out the request let's come into the main loop because we want to sh loop through the main menu constantly we should clear the loop okay uh, now this is a new command we're going to actually look at the control side of things for the controllers and that's pretty simple what we do is we give a variable in this case we're going to call it c for controller is equal to controls and zero being the first controller and then one two and three being the other controllers okay um, and what do we want to happen so rather than request, what we want to happen is controllers, and if I press the A button, then and it equals true, then list the patients. All right, so let's come down to here. Let's do the same. If the controller X or X button is equal to true, then do this and then finally now what we can do here is rather than equals true we can just go if c dot b being the controller button b then quit now that represents that if it's pressed b button is pressed then run that function so we can actually ignore the equals true because every time it's pressed it, it gives a signal to say, yes, it's true. 
So we don't need to check to see and continue to print the menu or, re or request to actually re-input the input because we actually use the buttons now. Now we want to print every frame, so that's 60 frames every second, we want to print. Now we want to print the main menu at a point in, on the screen. So we're going to say 20 on the X, so that's 20 pixels from one edge. One, one edge. We want to go five lines down on the Y, and we want to then print our a welcome menu. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right. Um, blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's put a comment on here. So this is the controller um, zero. Okay. Um, let's make the print size a little bigger. So there's a command called text size. And let's make it 40. All right. So let's give this a go and see what it does. So I'm going to press F5. Oh, I'm out of memory. Now, why is that? Well, because I haven't updated the the loop. So if I don't update, I can clear the loop, but if I don't update the loop, then it will run out of memory. It'll actually try to continually try to print it and run the memory out. So let's try it now. Excellent. So as you can see, it's moved at 20 pixels from the left. It's moved at five lines down. And if I press A, Yep, I get my print list patients and diagnosis. If I print, if I press X, yep, start diagnosis, start diagnosis, and if I press B, yep, quitting program, which is great. Uh, what we should do also is I don't really like the white, so I'm going to change the color of the text. That's ink, and let's make it brown. Okay, all right, so. It looks like I can get rid of this if statement. And that will tidy up the function, the main function. All right, let's just try that again. F5. Yep. Looks good if I press A. Awesome. If I press X. Yep. And if I press B. Great. That's looking really great. Okay. Let's go and because we want to add to the um, start new diagnosis. Let's let's what we want to do is is request a name. So we're going to go name. Uh, we're going to create a string called name prompt, and we're going to say. The string variable is now uh, is equal to what is the patient's name. Right. So if we come down to start diagnosis, and in here we want to. What's the first thing you want to do? All right, we're going to create a local function uh, variable called name, and it's an input. And why are we doing this? Because uh, we want the name to be still inputted into the system, and we need to capture that data. So, and it's called name prompt is what's going to come up. All right. Now we want to loop and clear, and this week will come a bit. Uh, the next couple of commands will make sense in a second. Now I'll 
create a variable within this function called, let's call him the controller. Now this is different to the variable in the main function. Um, so it's actually going to capture, it's going to, this controller, this variable is now a local variable of the controller. Okay, so then we want to print at, and we'll say again, 20 pixels on the X, 55 on the Y, and we want to, what do we want to print? Hmm, that's a good question. Let's go, let's go something like, let's go something like, uh, How is the patient? General appearance. Okay, give ourselves a bit of room. So a couple of lines. And then what we want, we go press. A and that'll be normal. Give yourself a, a line down and then press X for irritable or lethargic and close that and close the print app. Okay, so next, we don't need, we don't need this anymore, because we're just going to print our new menu, or secondary menu. Um, we need to update, otherwise we'll run out of memory, and we need to finish the loop with a repeat. Okay, and we don't need the wait three seconds anymore because it'll continue to loop through within the function until we press something. All right. So if everything's okay there, let's give it a go. Press F5. Our main menu comes up. If I press A, yep, that runs that function. If I press X. What's the patient's name? So I'm going to press Mike and hit enter. Yep. And then we get our secondary menu now, which is the patient's general appearance. Now, if I press A or X, nothing happens because we haven't programmed that up yet. Press F5 and come back. And I think that might do for this part. So, what we've done today is changed the program so is that most of the work is done via the buttons on the controllers um, we've talked about controllers in general um, we've talked about local variables within within functions we've looked at print at um, which prints at a certain place on the screen we also did looked at the text size, making the set text size a bit bigger and changing the color of the text. Um, I think that'll do for today and I will see you next lesson.